Okay. Good evening, ladies. How are you doing tonight? Um, tonight wraps up the last of our series of um, just learning how to uh, love yourself and love God and love yourself a little bit um, more every day. So um, I thought I would wrap up with um, just a few more steps. Um, yesterday, I um, I asked you to uh, like write out your perfect day. What would be the perfect day? with the king in your, in your life? Would he bring you coffee in bed? Would he, um, open up the car doors for you? Like, what would you do? Would you go to the park? Would you go for a hike? Would you go to, out to a romantic dinner? Um, those type of things. Um, but I want to know what, if there was any negative feelings, like I hate to say that. Um, but if there was any nasty, awful negative thoughts that kind of popped up in your head while that was happening, um, maybe some past relationships, popped up in your head that you didn't want to think about that, um, came out while you were journaling. Um, let me know if you, um, if any of that happened, um, for you. So today we're going to talk about, um, just, you know, uh, basically more Philippians four, four, eight. So if you haven't read that, um, I will give you the overview. <laughs> um, I do have it up actually, because I was looking at it earlier. Never mind, I can read you the whole thing. Okay, so this is from NIV, so it's not as pretty. Um, but it says, this is Philippians 4 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Okay, and of course, in the Bible, just like anything else, it's a lot easier said than done, right? Okay, let me know what you think. I'm sorry, I'm going to look at my notes because I don't, I don't have them memorized at all, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Um, so, but as you can see, I'm wearing a t-shirt tonight. It's actually, it was nice today. It was raining, but it was, it was warm today. So, um, anyways, so... If there was any negative thoughts that came up yesterday, you can read my blog too, and I have a lot more notes that are more in depth in detail, and I will post the link for my blog. You want to read that. Um, okay, so basically, if you had, re recapping, I'm tired. Can you tell it's been a long day? Um, I need a glass of wine. I probably shouldn't say that out loud. So, going back, if you had any negative thoughts that came up during your journal time, then what I want you to do, there's a really kind of like a, a solid activity that you can do something real to actually change your thoughts. And that I do, um, is if you start practicing this every day, but as soon as you, um, have those awful, not joyful thoughts on, you know, Philippians four, eight, um, is what I want you to do is you just take a hold of that thought. Okay. So it's one thing to love your thoughts, but you cannot dwell on those negative thoughts. You can love your negative thoughts, but you cannot dwell on them because where your mind goes, that's where your body is going to go. Okay. So what you need to do is first is when you catch one of those awful thoughts and you're starting to follow it down that rabbit hole, you don't want to do that. Okay. So just stop, take a deep breath just breathe for a moment and then this is the key okay so you can either open up your eyes or you can imagine something you want to just think about something that is lovely that is praiseworthy that is true what is noble all of that so it could be something out in the world like my shirt's pink I love the color pink um, the blanket cover is pink um, if I see anything pink that makes me feel happy. Like I love the color pink. So, and if there's nothing around me at the moment when I'm feeling frustrated, when I'm feeling angry and those negative, nasty thoughts come creeping up, I can think of something pink. And also, um, in my mind, like where I go to pray to Jesus, sorry, my battery is low. Um, I, um, I have like this vision of a field and there's grass, you know, the rolling, the whole rolling, the hills and the sheep and all that are all there. So you can also do that. You can use your imagination to just go there and just take a step back and just, just breathe, just let it out and just fall into those happy emotions and think about Philippians four, eight. So, um, so again, tonight, I want you to journal again, your perfect day with the man in your life and see if any of those negative thoughts come up. And then just 
capture them and take a hold of them before they start going down that rabbit hole and turn them around into a happy, positive thought that you want. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this series and you can check them um, all out on my blog and I will have it posted for you. And remember, you are created by the Most High God. You guys have an awesome, amazing night. Bye.